Hello, so today I'm going to make a video about uh, my heritage DNA test. I've just received the little box at home, so I'm going to open it and see what I need to do. I pretty much know where my ancestor come from, uh, which is uh, Portugal. When I sometimes go in the summer and I will go to the cemetery, it's kind of a traditional thing to do. You visit your old relatives, like your grandparents, etc. And a lot of them have the same last name, like people that I actually don't know, but they are buried there. So I think I'm pretty much from there. However, you never know, I might have a surprise. Because one of the things that people said about my dad when he was younger is that he's got that uh, sympathetic brown, whatever that means, you know, think about mid 50s in uh, rural Portugal where they didn't really see people that are brown or black uh, so they comment on people's skin color and on my dad they said that he had that sympathetic or sympathetic sympathetic moreno simpatico moreno simpatico which means that it's a nice brown so where did he get his brown from? I don't know. And actually, my dad side of the family, even though they are buried in the cemetery, um, it's a bit of a question mark there. Right, so let's go and use this. Right, so I'm gonna read the instructions because I don't want to get this wrong I feel like I need to open this first oh no oh god <laughs> okay, everything's fine, everything's fine chill just a natural stressful person right, so I'm gonna do this one first this is weird I don't know who's gonna test that, but they're gonna maybe see. I've brushed my teeth about an hour ago. I can still feel the. Um, how do you say? Dentifrice? Mm -hmm. Toothpaste. Okay, good. Right, so I put it at the bottom, and then I press. Oh my god, this is gonna be a nightmare. Okay. It did broke. broke. <laughs> right. I'm gonna make sure it's nicely tight. Oh god, I think it's too tight. <laughs> it's definitely done. I'm gonna do this other one. I'm gonna do this trick. Okay, that's done. So this one is already got one inside, so I'm gonna do this one. Do the same. Put that in there. And hold tight and break. Sit. It is broken. Oh. Close this. Make sure it's nicely tight. By the way, I'm just checking that the number of the things is the same number as on my card. Yep, it is. And what I'm gonna do is just I'm just gonna pop this inside. Okay, here we go. Here goes my DNA traveling the world to the US. <laughs> and um, it's fair to say that my DNA is traveling way further than I would travel this year. Enjoy the trip! Take some nice pictures. Ready to go. Strip this. Um, so apparently the results will be available four weeks after they've received the DNA samples and I don't know how long it's going to take um, for the DNA samples to get to the US knowing that I live in the UK and currently it's a, there's a global pandemic going on, I'm sure you're aware of it. Uh, but uh, I'll be back when I got the results. It 
but that's it I have received the results finally they came in let's look into it so there is a little bit of um, explain explaining to do the, uh, I can't speak I, I literally cannot speak and I've got actually a test of English in a few days um, I'm recording the screen so I'm showing you the the information as I'm reading it. So welcome to your DNA matches. This quick introduction. Blah, 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 blah. Continue. This is not what I want. Oh my god. No, this is not the result that I want. I'm not ready for this yet. I want to see the overview. Wow oh my god! I've got seven ethnicities. I'm Italian. This is insane. Oh my god. That's why I like that so much. Hmm. <laughs> my god, this is hilarious. I literally thought I was 90% Iberian. I'm 46% Iberian. All right, let's see the full estimates. I literally thought I was 90% Iberian. This is weird. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm a bit. Uh, the thing is that my parents they moved from Portugal to France in the 60s. And they were obviously seen as immigrants because they came from Portugal. <clears throat> and I found out that I've got a little bit of North and West European in my DNA. <laughs> um, Alright, this is funny. I think I need to call my, my dad. Oh. Right, so there's a little bit of a breakdown, but not so much. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm 16%, nothing was European. 16%! 16, not 5, not 10, 16. That's a good, good portion. Definitely. I, I knew a little bit about the Africa part um, because I'm just super tan, so I thought maybe. I tan very easily. I've got like melanin, as they say. So North Africa, 5.7%, 5.7%. That, that might be the time where um, Spain and Portugal was under the rule of the Moors, which was uh, people coming from Morocco, Algeria in this area. So 5.7%. And 0.8% from West Africa. That's less than 1%, so that's like really back in the day, I guess. But like 7.9% from Balkan. I'm more Balkan than from North Africa. This is so funny. My people did really travel all over Europe, didn't they? Just everywhere. Except, except in the cold countries. Which is quite funny because I do live in the UK, um, but yeah, there's just nothing from the UK. However, 16%, 16% North and West Europe, North and West European. So it doesn't like go into detail as to, oh, right. And I guess like in the future, that type of um, 
I'm 93.5% European. Yeah. Um, so I guess like in the future it's possible that they would like separate. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it really. I think I don't think there's anything else. But yeah, I would recommend anyone to do that because it just opens your mind onto actually what you are if you're thinking you're one thing but actually you're not one thing you're several things and i think it's good because in current climate everyone tries to put you into a little box but actually mm -mm, i can fit several boxes so that's awesome but like looking at the world i really just come from europe and my ancestors have not mixed abroad which was which is now quite current especially in areas like the USA and uh, Americas maybe not so much in Asia I don't know oh yes my family were not part of the exploradores they were like very much European and just like maybe they took a boat on the Mediterranean Sea and Travel there, up, down, left and right. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this was interesting to watch. It was definitely for me. <laughs> How do I stop the recording and the screen thing? Got it. I'm going to French blood. I'm a French blood. <laughs> Ooh la la. Tell that to my friend bully when I was in primary school, calling me all sorts of names. I, I really don't care to be fair. It's been a long time, but I wish I knew that when I was eight years old, you know. I could be like, well, actually, mm -mm, my ancestor come from here, so... Mm. <laughs> Those little things are important, you know. Those little things are important, especially at that age. Thanks for watching.